Hey guys, today we are in Goldmark 7 and I'm going to show you the coding to enable rear view camera, the low version in this uh, unit. Um, you need to wire it to the infotainment control module which is over here. It's fairly easy, there are just uh, um, two pins that you need to add over there as well as the power connection for the camera and uh, and that's pretty much it. You don't even have to use the factory installed low camera. You can use any camera that can um, give you uh, NTSC video feed. And actually I'm uh, using my um, uh, rear dash cam to be used as the rear view camera because over here I have a dash cam, a bunch of wires, so don't look at this. And this dash cam is equipped with uh, AV out output so I've connected this with RCA cable to the unit in the glove box and when I will when I put my gearbox into reverse gear I will see on the factory screen image from the from the little dash cam that I have installed over there here's an RCA adapter for the infotainment module in your glove box this is how it looks if you already have a blue connector in the quad lock, just remove this cable from it. You need to press on those terminals to remove it and uh, insert it into your existing blue connector. So let me show you the coding. I have OBD11 already connected to the car, and we, and we need to check. Uh, we need to change two um, uh, two modules. Uh, we need to change coding in two modules. First of all, the multimedia module, 5F. Go to long coding. You can look for the rear view camera over here on the list, or you can switch to the bit byte view. Go to um, byte 19, I believe. Yes, byte, byte 19, bit 4. It's disabled, so let's enable it. Slide to right. Go back to your control modules and look for parking assist. It's 76 or in some cars it's module number 10 I believe and go to long coding and over here you can look for camera type not installed rear view camera slide to right and that's it now let's disconnect and let's check how it works so here here's the camera there's nothing in the badge this is how it looks i will post a separate review about this dash cam installation and right now when i put the car in reverse i can see image from the rear view camera over here okay coding uh, is uh, also available for you in the description below this video give it a thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial and subscribe for future ones see you soon